what is going for Ghana as a, a democracy, so to speak, one of the things going for us is our free media. It earns us a lot of good points in the international arena. Um, it's good for, for even investors to know that in this country, you know, news and information is freely available because news is what you need information to make decisions about even where to invest in the country. So we, I think it's very important uh, that our political class really protects this, this treasure, this, this media that we have. You know, yes, there are many problems with the media. We all have problems with, with, with the media. The same way we have problems with government. We have problems with everything. But it doesn't mean that, you know, because government, we have problems with it, we should abolish it or go to attack it physically and all of that, right? So this new emerging bullying of media people, beating them, threatening them, that cannot be acceptable, right? That cannot be acceptable. And I think we, uh, what I'm saying is that, you know, we must show solidarity with our media brothers and sisters when they come under attack for trying to do the right thing. It doesn't mean that everything they publish is truthful. You know, if you had to require 100% accuracy before you publish anything, there will be no news. There will be very little published in the world. You know, sometimes you go with a story. You go with a story, you follow a trail, it sounds credible, you follow it, you connect the dots, and you leave the the public to make their judgment. You connect one, two, three, and you make... So that's what journalists do. You know, this new thing as if if you don't have evidence that can stand up in court, don't publish anything. That's not how journalism works. You know, so people should respect the right of journalists to ply their trade, you know, to do it. And if you have a problem with it, you can sue them. <laughs> if you have a problem with what they're publishing and you think you've been defamed, you go to court. But not physically threaten journalists, physically attack them. That's not the way a democracy operates. So that kind of behavior is unacceptable. And I think we in the in civil society must be very clear and unequivocal that no matter what, that is not acceptable to us. And, and that's the kind of solidarity that I think we must show towards each other as media and civil society uh, in, this, in this political space that we are in.